What is up everybody, Gardens to Deviation here, back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Gemini Jets' June 2022 releases. Let's start with the 1-400 to 400 bottles. Now, as you guys may see, Gemini Jets have once again raised their prices to a ridiculous height. As an example, the American Airlines 777-300ER in 1-400 to 400 for the normal version, registration number 736 Alpha Tango is $62, while flaps down 777s now cost you set you back should i say 66 dollars considering the fact that the quality of these models is not that high because obviously gemini jets they have no quality control um i would do suggest going for ng anywho continuing on we have two more triple seven three ngrs that gemini just can force you to pay ridiculous amounts of money for registration alpha 6 echo november delta this is the normal version which costs 62 dollars and the flaps down one costs 66 now, personally, for me, I would pretty much pay the maximum price for a 777, maybe 56. 66 to me is just absolutely ridiculous, especially considering the fact that this is a 1 to 400 model. But um, yeah, continuing on down the line, we have a Frontier Convair CV580, registration is number 73117. And for something that's about the size of 737 in 1 to 400, maybe a little bit smaller, they're going to charge you $46. The same price that NG charges you for their 757s, 737s. So uh, definitely, this is not a release to buy from, especially considering the fact that the price that the prices have been raised. Anywho, moving on, we have a Latam 7879 registration is Charlie Charlie Bravo Golf Mike, and the price of this wonderful model is sixty one dollars for seven eight seven. Good job, Gemini. And the last triple sevens in one to four hundred is these this two Lufthansa Cargo triple seven Fs registration Delta Alpha Lima Fox Shot Alpha the normal one and then the flaps down one is the same registration but sixty six and sixty two dollars respectively. Moving on, we have a Qantas A380 800. You buy this, you're gonna get set back seventy one dollars for one to four hundred model. Essentially seventy one dollars for your piece of metal, which to me is just absolutely mind-boggling considering the fact that you can get higher quality a380 from jc wings like i don't understand how do people keep buying from gemini jets how do they keep buying from a company that has such horrible molds and horrible customer service it's beyond me but the price of this is 71 dollars, and it's victor hotel oscar quebec bravo in the last two models in one to four hundred should I say passenger models are 737 800s. The first one is Transavia, Papa Hotel, Hotel Zulu Victor. This one's going to set you back $51, the price of an NG Models 777. And the same with the United 737 700, which will set you back $51, like I said before, same price as the NG 777. Registration on the United is number 21723. And this month, we actually have a Gemini Mac model. We have a Lockheed C-130J. Registration is 5501. And for something about the size of a 737, you're going to get set back $46. Which, for reference, let me remind you, two years ago, the Lockheed C-130 costed you around 32 So in the past two years, Gemini have gradually raised the price by around 10 to $12. And this is not including shipping, mind you. Anyway, moving on to the 1 to 200 models, we have an ATR 72600 from Air Lingus, registration Echo India Golf Papa Papa EIGPP. And the price is to be determined, I'm assuming this means. Um, either that or Gemini Jets is gone, finally lost it. But yeah, moving on, we have a 1 to 200 Gemini 200 uh, CRJ 900, registration is Golf. Uh, Charlie, Golf, Juliet, Alpha, November. And for one tiny CRJ that's about the size of a 747 and 1 to 400, you're going to get set back $83. Then we have an Alaska E170 LR. Remember, 186 Sierra Yankee is the registration. And it's $92. And then we have a Fokker F70 Victor Hotel Quebec Quebec Whiskey. This was actually released a few months ago in 1 to 400. And the price of this is $80 three dollars which this is just ridiculous at this point like how much is gemini how high are they going to keep raising these prices like to be honest i haven't bought a gemini jet model since last december because quite frankly it's too expensive and the quality is just non-comparable to other companies such as ng or even jc which is a sub which is really just gemini jets but rebranded 
Anywho, continuing on, we have a American Lockheed L-1088. Registration is number 6118 Alpha. This was also released a few months ago, and this one, the price is to be determined. Then we have a Brennan 727 200. The registration is number 4608. 460 Bravo November, and it's $101. Then we have a DHL 777F. Same thing with the price increase. This one is open and optional doors open slash closed. Registration number 774 Charlie Kilo. It's $160. Moving on, we have an Emirates A380 800. Registration is Alpha 6 Echo Uniform Victor. $192. Now, just let me remind you that two years ago, the same Emirates A380 uh, Gemini just releases on one or two of them, one to two hundred per year. This gem, this uh, Gemini just one to two hundred a three eighty. Just two years ago, in twenty twenty, even during the pandemic, costed one hundred and fifty six dollars, which forty dollars is not justified. Anyway, we have a Lufthansa CRJ nine hundred. The registration on this is Delta Alpha Charlie Nova Delta eighty three dollars. Polar Air Express. Uh, 747-400F, registration number 450 Papa Alpha, and for something that is smaller than the A380, for a model that's just as big as the A380, just because it is interactive, Gemini Jets thinks that they can charge you $210 for a model that a few months ago would cost you $181. The registration on this is number 450 Papa Alpha. And the final model of this release is a main ANG KC135R with the registration 580098. And this one costs $105. Now, just let me explain. This KC135R just a year ago would cost around $95, $90, depending on the model that you got. So, yeah, these price increases are just ridiculous. Now, uh, I'm not getting anything from this release. I mean, Gemini Jets' releases have been pretty mediocre lately, especially considering the fact that they are raising their prices absolutely ridiculously. And to be honest, I don't even think that I'm going to buy from Gemini Jets ever again. Because, honestly, $62 for a 777, $51 for 737-700, and for just horrible quality too... I would just, at this price range, end up going for NG because not only is it cheaper, but NG models are a lot higher in quality than this. But uh, yeah, with that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell so there's my videos, and comment down below what you think of these ridiculous price increases. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, goodbye.